Hi everyone, this is your Beltane reading. First of all, we have the messages from the God and Goddess here. And the Horned God is telling you to slow down, smell the flowers and see the beauty of the world all around you, and open your heart to receiving blessings and love in all forms. The Goddess, the Star. This card just radiates feminine energy. The goddess is reminding you that there is no one like you in the entire universe and your unique and special gifts are needed in this world. Keep your light shining bright and allow yourself to believe that anything is possible. Have faith in the magic and mystery of the universe and stay filled with hope. This card here represents the present and it represents what you need to nurture. So we have the Nine of Autumn, and this message is to take time out to nurture yourself. Like a mother and father, the God and Goddess want you to know you are surrounded by love, but sometimes solitude can be healthy for you, as it gives you time to listen to your inner voice and do what you want to do. This card here is for your past and what you need to leave behind and burn in the Beltane fire. Nine of Winter Feelings of being trapped may have stopped you from doing what your heart truly desires. Maybe you're scared of the unknown or a failure, but this dark night of the soul is over and the universe and your guides are giving you support and guidance on how to best move forward. The chariot in your future position. This card is telling you what you need to do to grow. And this is to take charge, fly high and don't be afraid. After some time alone and reflection, you know what you need to do and what direction to go in. So take the reins and keep your eyes on the prize. Hi Mimi, have you come to bring us some of your cat magic? This card is what is supporting you and we have here five of spring. This card has fairy morris dancers on it. And morris dancing is often the part of Beltane. So this card reminds you that you need to have a good balance of alone time and having fun with friends and family to move forward. So this Beltane, join in the fun, but allow time for your own sacred rituals. These two cards here are also supporting you. And over here we have earth and fire dragon who is very relevant to this Sabbath. Earth and Fire Dragon want you to help heal this planet. Working with these wonderful dragons is very rewarding and they will teach you many things about this planet which will help you to remove any obstacles you may face in the future. Over here we have the fairies' forgiveness. The fairies are telling you that there is something or someone you need to forgive in your past. This could be another person, yourself, or a situation. By showing forgiveness, you will be releasing all feelings of hurt and regret, which are keeping you stuck in the past. This card here is for your relationship card, Two of Winter. These two fairy guys are standing in stalemate, but they're not going to get anywhere that way. Is there a relationship in your life that you feel is similar? Neither of you will back down because you both feel like you're right. But neither of you are truly in the wrong. It's just a case of stubbornness. Maybe this card is a message for you that something in this relationship needs forgiving, the other person or yourself. Because something needs to change, Maybe you could make the first move and get this relationship back on track so you can put any past silliness behind you and get back to having fun times together again. So overall, this is going to be a fun Beltane. The God and Goddess want you to enjoy the festivities around you, but also make time for what you need to do. Don't let anything hold you back and take charge of your own life. In accordance with the law of attraction, what you give out, you get back in abundance. So dance, sing and be merry. Blessed Baltain to you all.